It's our last night in Penang, Georgetown. We've come down to the waterfront, which is where we were 20 odd years ago. Because we know there's food here, and everybody's down here sitting on the beach, on the well, on the wall, because it is cool. You can get a bit of fresh air. And somewhere up there, I think, there's the inedible, inevitable food stand. Well, here we go. Dinner time. Oh dear, you dropped it. Hey, food! Oh. I don't think it's real weight. So, he couldn't care less. <laughs> he dropped the drink off the table. Does he care? Not in the slightest. I just hope, hope this isn't a Muslim section because I'm busting for a beer. But, I, but I've got a terrible feeling it is a Muslim section. And I ain't gonna get a beer. Bugger. We gave the Muslim food court a miss. I'm sorry, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't I only drink one or two beers a year as you all know, but here oh I like a couple of beers with my dinner because if you could see me now it's pouring out faster than I can put it in. So here's a food court, let's go try it. This restaurant here, Capitan, world class non bread and biryani clay pot. I think we'll go and try that and I hope to God they're not Muslim and we can buy a beer. Well, we gave the idea of the Muslim hawker stall away. Because I really, really, really fancy a beer. I think I'm turning into an alcoholic. So, we've come down to Little India. Surely we'll find somewhere here that will serve a beer. As I said, we gave up the idea of the Muslim food. Nice as it is, but we want a beer with dinner. So we were walking through little India, just walking through, and you would not believe it. But the taxi driver who looked after us all day took us up the peak, and he's very, very nice gentleman, very nice. Very obliging, gave us lots of brochures. He actually pulled up beside us, he saw us walking through the little India, and said, what are you looking for? I said, we're looking for a restaurant with a beer. He said, hop in, I'll give you a ride there, no charge, and he brought us around here. Not many of them would do that, I can tell you. Exactly what you call a quiet romantic dinner. George just been to have a look and see what they've got. There are people everywhere, and I do mean everywhere. Okay, so at last we have dinner and beer. Fantastic, wonderful. And here's the man who said, "Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good." Okay, once again, into it, Joel. I don't know what it is. That's a lime, I'll tell you that. That looks very nice, what you have there. I have. And this is my tandoori chicken, which you saw him cooking in the tandoor a minute ago. What is he making? Roti chennai. Roti chennai. Roti chennai. Very good. Better than I am. Does a good job. Okay, have a look at this. Look at the man go. I used to make pizzas, but I was not that good. Roti Chennai. And again, once more, we watch. The master. 
This man doing tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. And this man is doing some breads. Have a look at this. I might have one of them. Well, that was a good decision on the behalf of the taxi driver who brought us here. The Sri Ananda Bawan restaurant, Indian food, absolutely superb. I have to say, it is the best I have had. <laughs>